Hey everybody! Alright, so I hope you guys had a fun, fail-free, hurricane-free Halloween if you're on the East Coast. Um, but today it is November 1st, so therefore I'm here with my October favorites video. Um, I really don't have that many just because, again, this month was trying to focus on Halloween videos and whatnot. Uh, but I did try out a few products that are everyday, not Halloween um, type videos, I guess I could be like, yeah, I really liked this glitter and whatnot, but I'm not going to do that. So yeah. <laughs> um, so these are just a couple of my favorite beauty products for the month of October. Um, the first was my, I found a new hairspray and again, I still have my Tresemme hairspray over here, which I really do like. Um, but I absolutely love the Big Sexy Hairspray and Play. Um, this is the first time I've tried this particular formula. I've tried the Spray and Play Harder, which is okay. Um, I've tried the Spray and Stay, which is really good. For whatever reason, on my hair anyway, I find that the Spray and Stay and the Spray and Play Harder, even though they're, they're supposed to be like helmet head type hairsprays, they wear off really easily, especially because I touch my hair a lot. Um, but I sprayed this in my hair today, and I've been touching my hair a lot, and I don't even know if you can see, it's like, yeah, like, it's not going anywhere. So I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. So I love Big Sexy Hair. It's hands down one of my favorite hairsprays of all time. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check that out if you love hairspray like I do. Um, the next thing is something that I've used once in a video, and I'll go ahead and shake it up just because it's kind of separated at the moment. Um, but this is something that I had heard about through Ex Barkage's videos, and I was always kind of like, well, I don't know, what use do I have for that? Um, but this is the Laura 3D Liquid Luster, and I got the gold one. They make it in gold and they make it in silver. Um, this stuff's amazing. I, again, w had no intention of getting it beforehand, but I ordered it through Ebates, um, well, through Sephora, through Ebates. I figured, well, I'll try it out while I'm getting the cash back. Um, comes in a little glass dropper like that, and you will just drop it out, and it comes out in a little drop. And then you either put it on a brush, or you can leave it as a little dot like that, and then move it around. Um, it's very liquidy because I just took it up, but you put it over eyeshadow is the idea, and that happens. It is like the most gorgeous gold sparkle and you can probably see it better on my finger because um, that's what I just used to move around so great now I'm gonna have sparkly hands um, but it's so pretty I I used it in my um, vampy vixen look so if you saw that you see you saw exactly what it did it's amazing um, I really want to get the silver one just to have both um, but yeah so these are 16 at Sephora but because you only use a little tiny drop it's gonna last you quite a while so I'm a big fan of that. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is actually a sample that I got through um, one of those like 500 point perks or whatever it was. Uh, this is a sample of the Smash Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I can talk. I can do it. I promise. Um, and it kind of comes out in a gel consistency, but you basically put this on before you do your foundation and it's supposed to make it go on smoother and last longer, and it has done that. I really do like it a lot. Um, if the full size weren't so expensive, I would say, yeah, I'm going to go get a full size of it. I'm still kind of on the fence, honestly. So try this out. If you can get a sample of it, great. Um, if you can't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I know they sell like little like the miniature size of it for like 18 bucks or something like that which is still a little ridiculous but I don't know. Um, next thing that I'm loving is the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars. Now not just as necessarily this one, just the lip tars in general. Um, the one that I have on my lips right now is Trollop. This just is one that I grabbed and this is Hush. Um, this one's awesome. If you haven't seen my review haul of uh, OCC lip tars that I did, I'll go ahead and link it below. Um, these things are really awesome. Basically, you use a tiny, tiny little drop on a lip brush and it does your whole mouth. Um, they last a really long time. It kind of stains your lips a little bit, so just a fair warning when they start to wear off during the day, 
I had um, nylon, the really, really hot pink one on uh, last Saturday when I wore it to work for my poodle skirt costume. Um, the lip tar itself wore off throughout the day and then left me with like this crazy hot pink almost like lip liner so it was a little weird. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, these are awesome and I'm very glad that I decided to try them out. So yeah, um, st <laughs> sticking with the lip products, I don't know. Um, this is a drugstore product. This is the Revlon Lustrous Lip Color. Um, and this one is just in Pink Pursuit. Looks like that. Um, and it just has some gold sparkle in it. To me, these kind of remind me of MAC lip glosses. Um, not necessarily nearly as sticky as MAC lip glosses, but the formula itself. So I'm a really big fan of those, and this was like 4 or $5. So, um, go ahead and check that out. They have some really nice colors of this, too. So, this is Target, basically. Um, so then, I tried a new blush from Tarte. This is just from one of those little sets, uh, that they have going on right now. But this is Magic. And it's just kind of like a pinky coral color, and I really do like it. It's really pretty. Um, I don't have it on right now just because it's not what I used for the look that I did. Um, this is that bombshell Halloween look, by the way, because uh, this is pre-recorded. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check the link below. Uh, but I really do like this blush. They're not a full size. I really hope they make a full size of this one just because I really do like it. Um, but I'm a big fan of the 12 hour Amazonian clay blushes. You guys know that if you've been watching my videos for a while. Um, so then finally, I don't know if I talked about this one in my September favors video or not. I really can't remember. But I've really been loving two of the NARS eyeshadow uh, duos. The first one is Cordura. And it's just these gorgeous, gorgeous browns. This one's really great for like a crease color. And then this one's really great for an outer corner color. Um, I've basically been using these every day as my outer corner colors, and they are amazing. Um, I've been favoring browns more versus blacks. I mean, don't go by this, obviously, but, um, I really do like those a lot. And then the other one is Bellissima, and it just comes with this, like, taupey gray color, and then this kind of shimmery beige, which the beige doesn't really show up, it just kind of looks like shimmer, but this duo is so good and I've wanted this gray color for a while so that's kind of why I broke down and bought this duo um, but I really do like this one a lot and I've been using this one for my grease for a while as well um, and then finally is a nail polish which I will go ahead and swatch on my hand for you um, this is GoldenEye from OPI and it's one of the uh, nail polishes that came out for the Christmas collection um, for the James Bond Skyfall movie and it is seriously like the most gorgeous holiday gold color I think you can ever buy. Oh, this is just one coat. Um, obviously I'd probably do more if I'd want this like as my actual nail polish. The only reason I'm doing it on this hand is because I had a casualty with the rest of my nails. You can see that's just one coat, guys. Like, that's insane. That's an insane amount of gold. And I'm a big fan. So I will probably definitely be doing my nails with this around Christmas time. Um, so that's basically it for my October favorites. Like I said, I hope you guys had a fail-free Halloween. And uh, check out my vlog that I will be posting very soon. Um, I'm calling it Vlogtober because I didn't even vlog the entire month of October. Uh, but it's just little random excerpts and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm not really sure when that's going to be going up, but soon. Yeah. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.